Hi guys, if your Samsung device is stuck in a boot loop and keep restarting its Samsung logo, don't worry, I am here to help. As you can see, this is my Samsung Galaxy S23 and it's stuck in boot loop. It continues to restart and never fully load into the system. Now I know some other methods have been suggested in various videos like updating via smart switch or formatting uh, through the recovery mode uh, will fix this. But these methods might not work always. But today I will show you a proven method using the Ordin software. This step by step guide will help you to flash the correct firmware to get your device back in a working order. Guys in my case my device bootloader is unlocked and it got stuck in boot loop because I flashed the wrong file using the recovery mode. But doesn't matter if a bootloader is logged or unlocked. This method will work for every Samsung device. Now let's dive right in and fix your phone that is stuck on Samsung logo. First we need to put our phone into the download mode. To do this connect your phone with the PC and wait for the Samsung logo to disappear. The moment Samsung logo disappear press both volume up and volume down button simultaneously. Keep holding both the button until you see a blue screen. Uh, once the blue screen is visible press the volume up button once and your device will put into download mode. Now our device is now in download mode. It's time to move to the PC screen to complete the process. First open any browser and search for Samsung firmware. From the search result, click on the first website which is SamFW. Here you need to search for your device name. In my case, it's Galaxy S23. After entering your name, you might uh, see different version of S23 such as S911B or S911U. Now selecting the correct device model is extremely important to ensure you download the right firmware. If you already know the exact model for your Samsung device, you are good to go. If not, you can find it printed on the box uh, your phone came in. Also, if you have used a uh, smart thing Find before, you can locate your device model there too. Uh, so my model is Samsung S911B. Uh, here it is. Now uh, scroll down and choose your country. Uh, I am from India, so let me select it. Next scroll down and you will see a list of firmware versions. The latest firmware always appear on the top, so click on the download icon to download it. Here you will be given option to download the firmware. The firmware size can vary depending on the device. In my case it's around 13 GB, so make sure you have enough storage on your system. And also a stable connection to download it. Since I already have the same firmware downloaded on my system, I am going to cancel this tab. First extract the firmware zip file. Once that's done, extract the Ordin file as well. Now we have both files extracted and ready to use. The next step is to install the Samsung USB driver on your PC. Since I already have the installed drivers, I won't be installing them again. Now open the extracted Ordin folder and run this Ordin.exe file. In Ordin, you will see several buttons like BL, AP, CP and CSV. Here click on the BL option and select the BL file from the extracted firmware folder. Now uh, do the same for AP file, click on AP and select the AP file. Uh, guys loading the AP file might take some time so be patient. Uh, once AP selected click on CP and also uh, select the same CP file from the firmware folder. Now it's time to select a CSC file. Uh, but here we have two options CSC and home CSC. Guys, if you want a clean installation that completely format your device, select the CSC file. But if you want uh, to keep your data intact, then select a uh, home CSC file instead. However, there are the cases that home CSC uh, might not work. Your phone could still prompt you to format the data after flashing. It's up to you, but I recommend to trying home CSC file first. If your data is important and you want to uh, avoid closing it. Once all the files are selected, click on the start button to start installation. Guys, this process might take few minutes, so I am going to fast forward it to make it short. Once the flashing is complete, you will see a green pass message in Ordin. This will indicate that a firmware has been successfully flashed, so wait for it. So guys, firmware is now flashed. As you can see, the uh, pass message in the Ordin and our device is not rebooting automatically. Guys, first boot might take some time. This is normal as the system rebuilt itself. 
so be patient and soon you will be uh, on the setup screen so guys as you can see our device is now successfully booted up now i'll quickly go through the setup process to ensure everything is working correctly once the setup is complete you should see the home screen and your phone is fully functional without the boot loop issue so guys that's it for this video you have successfully fixed your samsung phone is stuck in boot loop or samsung phone is stuck on samsung logo if this guide help you uh, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have any question or facing uh, issues during the process drop a comment below i will do my best to assist you thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one this is darwin signing off